This here episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Domain.com. What's going on everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here. If you're new to the channel, you've been following us for years, I like to share what devices I'm using in my personal life. I know I've got the distinct privilege of being able to try everything out there, so I thought I'd share what I choose to use. Uh, for the past probably four to five months, for my dedicated tablet at home, I've been using the Nexus 9. I previously used Apple iPads, either the iPad mini or the iPad, iPad Air, all the way through until it first came out as the only tablet, and I really took a liking to the Nexus 9. I think Android on tablets really matured uh, with the Nexus 9, particularly with Lollipops. So I was really excited to use the Nexus 9, and I have absolutely loved the heck out of that thing. I traveled with it, came with me absolutely everywhere I went, and it had been almost flawless. I was the kind of person that was checking every six minutes to try and get the 5.1 update on that. I didn't want to force it over, um, but I wanted it to come sort of organically over there like everybody else. So I waited and I waited, 5.1 finally hit, and I was excited, I installed it, and then things start to go downhill with my Nexus 9. Uh, Google Play servers, it started to just totally crash on me all the time. Uh, I would say I'd have to re-download services. YouTube stopped working. All the Google apps that I use all the time would just log me out. The tablet got really buggy. It started to get warm and just started to go from a great experience to a not so great experience. So if I didn't have the opportunity to switch tablets often, I would stick with the Nexus 9 and probably be fine. But because I do have that opportunity, I decided to try something new that I wouldn't necessarily think to try, and that's this guy. Uh, this is the Dell Venue 8 7000 series. Uh, Mark did the review on it. Now a few months ago, I just wanted to try something that I wouldn't ordinarily pick up and use, and Dell is definitely not the first name I think of when it comes to tablets, uh, but I wanted to give it a shot. I've really liked the Android experience on a tablet, so I wanted to stick with that. I didn't want to go uh, to Apple or something different. So if you're not familiar with this guy, it's uh, an 8.4 inch screen. It's 2560 by 1600, so it's QHD. It's kind of a weird design, though. Uh, it's got this big chin hump. You've got a camera down below. You've got three Intel RealSense cameras in odd locations, so if you ever want to try and take a picture, one of your fingers is going to be covering uh, the back of it. Uh, I've got the 16 gigabyte version here. They've got a, a higher capacity one, I believe 32. Uh, this one starts at 399, so it's relatively inexpensive to get into the tablet um, tablet world, and it's one of the thinnest tablets also going at six millimeters thin. It's crazy thin. Just got upgraded to Lollipop. Uh, so I figured it's 5.0.2, it's not 5.1 yet, so let's give it a shot. Also, I hadn't really used anything with an Intel Atom chip, you know, regularly for months after months after a review. So I wanted to try this guy um, to see how it performs. It's got the quad-core Atom chip in there. Uh, and I've been really impressed with it. It's only been, I think now, about five days since I made the switch. But overall, it's been a really good experience. Before, before everybody yells at me, uh, Dell's not paying me to say this. I'm just trying the tablet because I like it and have the opportunity to try it. Um, my wife and I watch Netflix every night before bed, and I was kind of worried about this big speaker grill um, on the bottom. When you hold the tablet, your hand is covering the speaker, so I thought that sound would be muffled, but there's some sort of wizardry or magic in here where the speakers sound fine. Uh, also, very weird for a tablet that's sort of metal coated on the back, it doesn't get warm, uh, which is surprising. If you've got an idea for next great website, domain.com has you covered. They want to hook you up with a great offer. Save 20% on domain names and web hosting when you use coupon code TECHNOBUFFALO. That's all capital letters, one word, at domain.com's checkout. When you think domain names, think domain.com. Uh, one of the issues I had with the Nexus 9 was battery drain got really bad. Um, but battery life so far on this guy has been pretty nice. Uh, I would have liked bigger storage as the entry point, 16 gigs is not that much. It does have an SD card slot. I put an SD card in there. I installed a few apps on it, but mostly I'm still relying on the internal storage here. Um, one of the things that I like, and this is true with any Android tablet now, or any Android device, or iOS device, I guess for that now matter, uh, is the new Photos app. So I can get all my photos that I use from an iPhone or from an Android device, and they all can show up on my tablet over the cloud, not taking up storage, which has been really cool. Uh, I will say the RealSense technology, which lets you do things like focus after the fact and all kinds of other camera stuff, I've had zero use for. Um, the back is also black and glossy. It looks nice when it's, nice when it's clean, but it's hardly ever been clean. Uh, but I will say I like the tablet a lot. I wish it was a little bit bigger. They do offer a 10 inch version, but it's got a weird sort of like battery handle hinge that you can use for a keyboard dock. So this is what we're left with. Um, 8.4 inch screen. It's been pretty nice and relatively impressive and I'm excited to sort of keep using it and see if my opinion on it changes. Uh, but overall, it's been really good. I will say if you're thinking about getting one, I ordered a case from Amazon that I thought would be fine, a little flip case. But it turns out they had the thing in reverse, so when you put it in, instead of opening it up like a book, it opens reverse, and that was very annoying. So if you get one, make sure you check the cases that you buy. Dell's happy to send you a very overpriced one for like 50 bucks. 
So anyway, I'll let you guys know what I think. Mark liked it in his review, so I'm curious to, to try it. Uh, I will say though, the 5.1 update does hit it while I'm using it. I'm not so sure I'm gonna hit that uh, upgrade button. And if you guys wanna know about this, let me know anything you want me to test. You know, it's got the Intel chip in it. It's made by Dell, which you wouldn't expect. Um, I'm kind of enjoying it. I know you guys like to know what I'm using. If this one doesn't work or starts to suck, I might go back to the Nvidia Shield tablet. I really like that guy too. Um, but I figured since I already tested that, I hadn't tried this one, uh, I'm gonna give it a whirl. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you wanna know what else I'm carrying, what else I'm using, let me know. I'll be sure to sort of do updated videos if I try to switch something different. Uh, if you liked the video, hit the big subscribe button. I appreciate it. Until next time, John Render from Techno Buffalo. I'll talk to you, friendo, in the next video.